Hello everybody and welcome back to another Isaac Item Showcase. Today we're looking at the Coins Void. This is part of a collection of mods that adds more quality for items. And this is going to be one that removes 15 coins from us and gives us a random item from the pool that we are currently stood in. So if we're in the secret room, we'll get secret room items. In Devil Deal, we'll get Devil Deal items. And to facilitate this item being interesting, I thought we'd go with Blood Money, which has shown up a few times. Basically, you get three to four random coins upon defeating a boss, and they can be any type of coin, which means that sometimes you can get pretty rich pretty quick. It's pretty good. And then, to, just to kind of nerf ourselves a little bit, I've decided that we'd go as the Keeper, because without our wooden nickel, we are going to be struggling on occasion for, um, for HP. And it is going to somewhat limit our money income outside of those boss rooms. So I thought it'd be a good way to kind of balance things out. Um... So, yeah, I gotta say, let me, let me know what quality 4 item you guys would like to see. Like, modded quality 4 item you guys would like to see showcased next. Because there is so many of them, and I'm always... Ooh, technology is very nice. I'm always looking for uh, more quality 4 items to play around with. I wonder what happens if we try and... Yeah, I guess nothing happens if we try and use it while we don't have enough money. But, yeah, anything we can do on this run to gain more money is going to be super preferable. But, as I said... We do have at least one way of gaining money regularly um, with our blood money. And as we saw, I think it was maybe even in the last episode, blood money can go crazy. It can go absolutely wild sometimes and give you an insane amount of money. So there's a potential chance for quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of items coming our way. And we'll see how that ends up going, especially on the later floors. Later in, into the run, things are going to get really crazy. There's no heads for these guys to roll. Uh, there's also secret room here. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. See if we've got anything in here already. A few extra bombs is not bad. I mean, potential for some money as well. Potential. I do love the fact that we got tech as well. I haven't had tech in quite some time, so happy to see it. Uh, I will pop my devil disc here on the boss as well, considering we don't exactly have the strongest run going right now. So I'll pop this and see what we get. Of course, we get this guy, which... Not my favourite of the fellas. Not my favourite. Does this guy... I guess this is the one that just always dashes, isn't it? This is the one that just always dashes. Yeah, he's, he's, he's reasonably easy right now. Unfortunately, I don't think we got any devil items that really help. Um, we got a, we got some on death and stuff. I think we got Guppy's Tail. It, yeah, unfortunate. Not, not what I was looking for. But we're going to get through this fight reasonably easily anyways. So it's not that bad and here we go here's our first set of money see we've got quite a lot of coins there we can come back over and i think first things first as is the tradition with any way in which you can gain secret room items we will go and spawn a secret room item of course we are going to get actives on occasion which will be a waste but here we got enemies have a look paste chance to cause a dice item ooh, 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 ooh. very very nice obviously there is a very low chance to re-roll us in which case if that did happen, I would give ourselves our um, starting items back. But the uh, the dice, whatever this is called, dice eulogy, is pretty good. I like it. I like it. It's an interesting quality for uh, secret room item to really kick things off in a weird way. We're going to having we're gonna be having some wacky stuff go down because of that. Uh, I'm trying to think of what some other like money gaining items. I mean, that is fantastic for us here. It would be very, very, very nice if we could um, get ourselves a lovely quarter on this floor. I mean, getting uh, golden bombs on the cellar is always the dream. Um, and we'd also obviously love to get uh, Swallowed Penny as well if we could. Uh, playing as the keeper, there you go. Swallowed Penny is not guaranteed to win, but it, it does help a hell of a lot. So I'm, I'm happy to have it. I'm going to blow all these up. Just to try and get myself a little bit of extra ka-ching, ka-ching. Now, remember, I don't have to. Just because I can, I don't have to just get secret room items. And I will try and vary up a little bit. Because although secret items are fun, they're not, like... Everyone's seen them a lot of times. Because everyone tries to go for uh, go for secret room items. So, I do want to mix things up a little bit. And make sure that I'm not just going for secret room um, where possible. Don't... Not a big fan of that. There's a penny there. Little Minx, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of Little Minx, but I'll take it. Ooh, I did just get a good old, good old D8 there. <laughs> Definitely going to cause some problems. Take that. Okay, try and keep this going. 
keep this show on the road. I probably should be bombing some of these things as well. Unfortunately, my speed has been pretty heavily lowered here. I'm trying to get a crawl space here and there. Obviously, there's no guarantee, but you might as well try. I'm going to do this just to make this room a little easier to complete. So, Little Minx. Oh, we uh, got one of these bad boys. Little Minx basically rages an enemy. When an enemy rages, it um, goes after other enemies. Starts all sorts of chaos. All sorts of shenanigans. Thank you for the penny. Uh, another thing as well is it doesn't just mean uh, the, the blood money giving us money isn't just from... Oh, I do not like this. Isn't just from um, bosses that are in boss rooms. It also counts for bosses in regular rooms too. So we can get a lot of money if we get the right rooms showing up. Obviously, that won't be until a little bit later in the run, most likely. Obviously, the early floors don't tend to have a ton. Oh, that was a really, really good troll bomb. God damn it. Well, if there's going to be a crawl space, I think we know for a fact it's going to be in this room. So let's uh, let's scatter some bombs around and see if we can see if we can get anything going. Obviously, it's not guaranteed it's going to be in here, but it's it's more likely to be in here than elsewhere. I don't know if it can be under spiked rocks, to be honest. I have no idea. Okay, it looks like unfortunately not in here, unless I want to bomb literally every single rock, but don't really want to do that, to be honest. That would that would take quite some time. Oh my god, the spiders, man. The spiders. The D8 has hit us once again. D8 coming out as strong. God damn it. Just, you know what I want, game. There it is. There it is. You knew what I wanted. Um, and unfortunately, it's an item that is pretty much entirely worthless for us. Neither shot speed or a HP up does anything for us. So that item is one of the only items we could find that literally is completely useless. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, Chris Mama Mega Blast explosion in the current room is kind of good. Oh, interesting, interesting. Good, good. We'll pop Soul of Eve in here. Not the most necessary of uses of Soul of Eve, I've got to admit, but... It is helping. Got a bit of money there. We've got enough to buy an item. If we get a devil deal here, I'll use it in there, I think. That's interesting. I don't actually know how that works with this. Okay, it doesn't seem to do anything. But we'll pop an item in here. Um... Hmm... I'm not actually sure how this is going to work, you know. Okay, good. I was I was a bit worried. Uh, while it's active... Is this an active item? No. Okay, how, how does this work? Um, I need to switch over which item it's showing me. While the press is active, plus one damage speed, blocks a first, in, a first damage taken in the room, reactivates in the next incomplete room. Okay, pretty good. So it's just giving us some stats right now. Um, unfortunately, couldn't afford anything else in there. I was I was somewhat worried then that it was going to end up giving me a item that I then still had to purchase. Luckily, it didn't. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a good example of different places we can use it. And we got another quality four item. I, I believe the Caprice is uh, quality four. While it's active, gain plus one damage, uh, minus to our speed, and the first damage in each room is blocked. Okay, I think that's working. I didn't see my damage go up, to be honest, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm ready for this dice to mess us up, though. Okay, yeah, that did that did block that damage. That did block that damage, so it is working. And I think we lost some damage for that. Good, good. A really good item, and at the minute, we are rolling deep with the quality four items. We are rolling very deep with the quality four items. We got ourselves glass bombs. Uh, bombs are reflected on the opposite side of the room. Okay, so if we do a bomb there... Ooh, Ooh. Dangerous, but interesting. Dangerous, but interesting is what I like to see. I do like the re-rolling of enemies here. Only thing is, we are going to get some absolute stinking D8s on occasion, where it just rolls our stats into pure stinky, stinky doo-doo. Check this out. Do you know what? That's really nice, actually, for double-checking secret rooms. That's really nice. Um... And we was able to kill him as well. Okay, I like this. I like this. We'll go for another secret room item, of course. Um, I don't want to neglect the secret room pool. Um, just because I'm going for some other pools on occasion. Um, I'm really waiting for the, the for the future floors where things really start to pop off with the amount of money we have. That's really cool, that. I like that. It's, it's, it's definitely a potentially a danger 
but I like it. A reflected idea. 1.2 times multiplier if you don't have any red heart containers or burn hearts. Okay, that doesn't do anything for us apparently right now. Which is weird, I thought it would. But I think this is obviously better for us anyways. The safety that this is giving us is uh, it's pretty important. Whoa, that's, uh, that's a new enemy. So it like shrinks as it moves and gives off flies. Oh, look at that. We just re-rolled all of those into nothingness. Oh yeah, because we've got like the eternal uh, dices in there as well, I think. So I think then we got the eternal D10, which deleted a bunch of enemies. I was wondering why a few of them just magically disappeared, but I think that's to do with some of the eternal dice being part of this uh, D eulogy, whatever the hell this item's called. It's a confusing name for an item. Um, do we have any more money about? Oh, ho, ho. So this, this is what I was talking about. This is one of the reasons I decided to use this item. So now we have just gained a lot and a lot of money. Uh, we are, we are going to get quite a few items out of this. And now, obviously, blood money is very overpowered with this item, but I thought, why not go for it? Uh, unfortunately, an active item there. Um, sets your speed, range, and shot speed to base stats if they're higher than base. Redistributes the stats lost to tears and damage. Nice. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot out of that, but nice. Uh, the pebble, really. Um, oh, we got Birth of the Remembrances. And last one, ooh, baby. We got an R key. We got an R key. Of course I'm going to use the R key, uh, but I will um, I, I will make it so that we give ourselves our coins void back, because that is what we're showcasing today. Um, but we will, uh, we will make our way back into an R key run after this floor is complete, of course. But yeah, those are the rooms that pop off with this item. Those are the rooms that you're not always going to get them. They ain't guarantees, but when they do show up, oh baby. Oh baby, does the power start to creep. Does the power start to go a little bit wild. We like it. I want Spectral. No, I don't just want Spectral. I need Spectral. Good. I do wonder, that item that redistributed our stats, I wonder if that'll constantly redistribute our stats and keep everything else at base, or if that was just like a one-time on-pickup thing. Because if it if it works all the time, that's actually going to be really, really good with, um, with the D8. Oh, dude, I, I keep D7-ing this room and restarting it, but there's so many enemies that the, the, the chances that I D7 again is really, really high. <laughs> so I'm just perpetually stuck in this room. That's funny. Okay. Right, boss time. Get some money out of this as well. Won't be anywhere near as much as before, but it'll be some money. Unfortunately, our, uh, our little remembrance guy doesn't actually take our tier effect, which I'm a little sad about. Interesting room here, because there's a lot of uh, ways that he can damage himself. I'm actually going to place a bomb here and try and do some damage that way. Okay, we got him. Not a ton of money there. We did get a speed up though, that's rather nice. Oh, there you go, there you go. We gained dam- yeah, okay, so everything else is kept at base. Right, so now we'll go and grab our, our key, and we'll uh, we'll go and do that, and we'll keep on moving on. Of course, this is pretty early to R key, I understand, but I can't hold the R key and hold this, and I don't want to, like, cheese it by just giving myself an item that lets me use both. So let's uh, pop our R key, and then we'll spawn back in our coin void, and we can play around with this now. Ooh, great item, great item. This is a lot of tier effects. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of tier effects going on here, which we all like. We all love to see. Tier effects are fun. <laughs> Look at this. It basically, strawberry milk, what it does is, oh, I think it's fruit milk it's called. What it does is um, every um, every single time you fire, you get three, you get lower, I think it's lo it lowers some of your stats. But every time you fire, you get three random tier effects on that shot, which is pretty good with tech. There's some synergies to be had. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Next three items. Um, oh, no, that's just... Okay, that's just freebies. Interesting. There's a reroll machine in here, which 
which potentially could be really good. I hope we get Larry Jr. here. If we get Larry Jr., we are in the money. We didn't. We got Wormageddon the Destroyer. I am unfamiliar with this friend. He looks pretty cool, though. Ow. He seems kind of tough for a first floor boss. Good amount of money. I don't even know what just happened there. One second? I had a child. Don't know where from. <laughs> had to pause because I was like, am I going crazy? Okay, so now what we can do is, although obviously there's other items that are better, I reckon we come in here, we pop... Oh, dude. If I lose Coin Void, I'll spawn it back in, but I'm gambling. Oh, I'm gambling, baby. I'm gambling. Okay, so now we do one more item, and then we re-roll these items. Uh, I mean, first of all, let's actually use the smelter. Um, why the hell wouldn't we? Good. Um, right. Do we want to take one of these wallets? Do we want to take one of these wallets? Probably a decent idea, yeah. We get a credit card for doing so as well, which will allow us to get anything we re-roll into. So let's re-roll again. Nothing much yet. It, unfortunately, it doesn't actually re-roll the items on the floor, which for some reason I thought it would. What is that? Placing a bomb places a banner that gives you either... Ooh, yeah. Okay. I will take that. That seems interesting. Um, Rerolls all pedestals into devil items. Wait, what? These still cost a heart container. That is not correct, I don't think. But wait, can I re-roll these now? Hmm. <laughs> Didn't work the way I thought it would. Interesting. I'm uh, somewhat confused, still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this floor. But um, we get into this war banner, which I'm very interested to see how it works. Basically, if we place a bomb down, it, um, it has a radius around it in which we get a bonus to our stats. But how does it work with the mirror bombs is what I'm more curious about. So let's just place one down here. And it works. We get two, we get two of these. Okay, now the bigger question, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna waste a bomb to try this out. Do they overlap and each give us different stats? Okay, that is an absolutely abysmal amount of damage that's giving, but... <laughs> Okay, thanks for the 0 0.03 damage. Hmm, thought that item was going to be pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> gotta say, gotta say. I mean, what, one more thing we should do in here. We've. Do you know what? Let's buy Toy Drum. We're a bit in debt right now, which I know that there's other stuff we want to uh, use this for, but still, I think the debt's fine. Um, and we'll bomb that. Okay, it gives us different stats each time as well, I see. Okay, that's giving us some good stuff. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're, we're barely in debt now as well. We're good to go to the next floor. Things are looking up. Things are looking good. Okay. Yeah, we got some really crazy items going on here. And some potential for some interesting synergies and stuff. I think bombs could get really wild. We get some more bomb synergies to go on top of what we have here. Okay. Why are you two stuck behind there now? Oh, I see. Yes. There is a way to let you out. I just decided not to uh, let you out for a while there. I just kind of missed that. But yeah, shop items, the main reason I kind of went for shop items there is there's a lot of shop items that allow us to get more money. And right now, we, we want any method we can get our hands on of getting more money. Beautiful stuff. That's a good amount of money there. Ooh, and that is a beautiful, beautiful golden penny there as well. Very nice golden penny. Puts us in a good spot. We'll check the devil deal, see if there's anything already in there we want to buy. If not, we can spawn some items. Um, empty vessel, does that work? I think it works, right? It doesn't work? Or maybe it'll work when I leave the room. Oh, really? Oh, wait. Oh, I kind of thought the radius would, like, move with it. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, excuse me. Uh, and then we pop that. Damage. 
How does this work? Keeper gains one broken heart, fatal hits grant one broken heart, and he dies at three broken hearts. Uh, that's that's pretty terrible, unfortunately. That's pretty terrible. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's not really what we're hoping for out of this uh, this room here, but we might be able to come back in. We'll see. We'll see. Um, not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah, I I'm a little, I'm a little shocked that empty vessel doesn't work here. I thought, I always thought it did. Ooh, we're spawning coins on occasion when shooting. Now that, that helps us quite a lot. I'll check in here just in case. As I said, there's some items that could be really helpful for us. I do kind of want that one that grants us, um, that grants us the ability to fill pits, but I don't really want to waste my money on it to be honest. Beautiful. Those, those fucking banner radius things are so silly. I'm guessing it's just because of the multipliers I have on this character. I think regular characters should probably get better stats from it, but right now we are getting some abysmal stats from those. Good. Looking for more money, please. A secret room. That's a pretty interesting item to go alongside this, but we are going to have to somehow get over there without taking damage. Actually, this isn't too hard. So, this is pretty good. And then, how do we get out? Okay, cool. And then we, we get two of them, I guess. We'll see whatever other item we spawn here. Rerolls tears. That's going to be even wackier with, than what we already have going on right now. We can do our bargaining chips here. Uh, one bo one bomb for two coins. Not not the most sane decision, I'd say. But this could be more way for us to make money. That's good. Oh, dude. We have some wacky, wacky tier effects going on now. Camo undies. Yes, please. Um, and then what's, what's this? Um... Dread tears. Enemies with dread take damage over time, damaging uh, damaging more frequently as the effect goes on. Okay. I recognize that bear. What, what from? from? From like an anime or something? I don't know. I recognize the bear. We do actually get two bargaining chips. Ooh. Oh no, it overwrites it. I saw a really good item and it over. I didn't realize I thought it spawned two of them. I saw a really good deal there. Oh, what on earth? <laughs> what is happening? Oh no, we This is this is wild. Ow. Okay, luckily I've got that protection from the Capra's ring. It's pretty it's pretty nuts. <laughs> Probably want to spawn some regular treasure room items to be honest. Yeah, there is some whole wild things going on right now. Yeah, let's just spawn an item in here. Dude, the most random of tears. Like, literally just give us fruitcake now. Maybe throw a $3 bill in the mix. Why not? This is wild. Okay. So, yeah, I, I basically, if I, if I use one and I want to use the other, it basically allows me to re-roll. And the only thing I really care about with bargaining chip is um, getting stuff that's going to give me more money realistically. Everything else, there, there might be a, the, the odd deal here or there that, that interests me, but for the most part, I want to sell stuff for money. Um, like, honestly, I am going to sell that for 24. That's, that's, that's not a bad deal. Um, there's an item for 12 there, but I'm not going to take that. I'm going to spawn an item here, see what we get. I get the prayer card, unfortunately. We are going to get a lot of actives, which is not ideal. We really don't want actives. Hey, Tooth and Nail's actually pretty good. Free cash room entry. Got some brainworm action going on there for that tier. But yeah, so bargaining chip is going to mean that we're potentially swapping out items fairly regularly. <laughs> My god, this is wild. Wild, I tell you. I did not expect this. Look at the beams, baby. The beams. There's so many multicolored, 
crazy, crazy beams. Brain Jappel, nice. And we can take a look at this. Um, six bombs for 15 cent. That's an item, so yes. We'll save this for another room, I think, though. And then here, we've got three bombs for eight cent. Also, yes. You see, this is why this item's good for us. Having two of two of the chips as well per room is pretty good. I don't know what these exclamation marks are, are doing. I'm not sure what that's about. The good thing is we can save up money as well. Uh, secret room is kind of likely to be here. Oh my god, I almost hurt myself there. Um... I'll pop a few of these. Good old one-up. Do not mind if I do, especially on a character such as this. A one-up is uh, nothing to turn that nose up at. <laughs> the beams. Oh, man. It's kind of hilarious. Quick check in here. A few more bargaining chips. Oh, my God. I think I'm okay, thanks. I'll just keep going. We could get some boss items here. And another secret room that I wasn't expecting. Lovely. Oh, this is regular secret room, is it? What have I done? What have I done? Oh, wait. All of my keys for 26 cent. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, let's get ourselves grants a damage which scales with the current record in Fiendfolia Community Discord counting channel. Didn't seem to give me that all that much. Wavy cap, no thank you. And then Spirit Burner. I need to have a 7.5% chance of, um, to drop a soul coin on death. All soul stones. Oh, soul stones, sorry, it's not coin. Soul stones will disappear upon entering a new room. Ooh, okay. While that item is not something we're going to take right now because it's an active, I will 100% showcase that item at some point. That sounds really cool. I like the idea of it. Right. Take out this guy. Shan't be too hard. I feel I barely need the uh, the bosses giving us extra stuff now. Extra money. we got avenues to get money all over the place. Uh, one bomb for three coins is not a great play. Mom's Depository, however, is pretty good at 25 cent. Did that not give us a damage up? It should have done. Anyways, down to the next floor. Lost out on a good amount of money there, but we'll get it back. We'll get it back. I'm going to pop my sun card in our next room here. I, I'm pretty sure losing this isn't bad at all. Like, we've already got the, the use case out of this, so it doesn't matter. Works for me. Oh, we got a planetarium this floor as well. You'll notice we actually have 16% planetarium chance. I'm actually using a new mod, which is additional ways to gain planetarium items. So, you'll you'll gain some amount of chance for... I mean, I think, I think it's based on the actual items we have right now, but... Basically, the, the new additions is you'll, you'll gain some amount of planetarium chance for walking into your item room but not taking it. And you'll also gain some planetarium chance for um, for not taking your boss item. I think also there's a few items now that grant planetarium chance that didn't used to. It just makes the ability to see mod... It's obviously, it's, a, it's kind of a cheap mod in a way because it makes planetariums more common. But we have a lot of modded planetarium items. I want to see them more often. So... I think it's cool to have extra chances to see them. And we we have modded ones, but we get Mars. But the good thing is, we can actually use this room as a way to gain other planetarium items. Pretty cool. Like, I don't actually care for Mars at all. So much so that I'm just not going to take it. But we are in a situation where we can now... Uh... Calm down, little fellas. We're in a situation now where we can utilize the planetarium room to get a bunch of additional planetarium items that we wouldn't normally get. Um, oh, okay. Interesting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was like terrible. I mean, it gave us enough to buy an item, but 
that was overall pretty awful. We do have the oddly shaped, uh, shaped uh, object in there, but it's an active once again. We're not looking for active right now. Harness, lovely. Oh, we got spurred, baby. I kind of forgot the spurred existed. Very nice. This this run is just pure chaos. I did not expect the chaos to unfold quite as much as it has. Like, what on earth did I just do to that enemy? Not that it killed him, but still. So I think what's happening right now is that the, the spur transformation is causing these little glittery tears, and then the little glittery tears also gain random tier effects. Reflux is not an item I wish to I wish to grab. I don't know what the red coin does. Okay. There's also some light beams that are doing some stuff for us as well. Interesting. Shop we don't have enough keys for. I think there was a key back in here though, wasn't there? Yes, there was. I could do some bargaining in here, I guess, as well. Not really getting what I want for bargaining though right now. God, it's so hard to keep track when I'm so goddamn small. R really? How'd my bomb end up over there? That, that is an item that I've been looking for, baby. That is an item I've been looking for. Deep Pockets allows us to do a lot. <laughs> Not only does it allow us to, to hold a lot more money, but Room Drops are also going to have uh, money in them more often. And on top of that, we have minus luck, which means less chance for room drops, which means even more chance for money room drops from deep pockets. That's real good. Real, real good. Me being so small is not is not helping out right now, though. Right. Take you out. Got a brimstone going on in there. Hard to keep track of everything right now. I'm just hoping for the best. You dead? He is dead. Ooh, we have exactly enough for two more planetarium items as well. Let's go grab them while we can. I'll also plop that down and see what's what. No, thank you. Yeah, having camo undies plus being this small is really difficult. The only thing that's helping me get through this is Saturnus and having this circle around us to know where I am. Otherwise, things are extremely confusing. Soul, decent. Neptunus, very nice. Unfortunately, not many modded ones, but still, a bunch of planetarium items that I quite enjoy. Craziness going on. God damn. This is a, this is a, a longer run than I was anticipating, I will definitely say that. <laughs> Much longer than I was anticipating. There's just a, there's, there's a lot of min-maxing to do on this run. Holy shit. We are about to get so much goddamn money. <laughs> Yeah. Bosses like that are uh, kind of ludicrous for us. So we just got a lot of items. Like, tempted to just absolutely spam the ever-living hell out of it in, like, a regular room. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to save for something where I've got a reroll or something. Where I can really play it, play it to its advantage. We've not had a full run reroll yet, which I'm actually kind of scared of at the moment. Because the, 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 the Isaac's Eulogy D whatever thingy can give you a full run reroll. It's it's like a 0.1% chance on enemy kill, but it it can apparently happen, so the scaries the scaries are real. The scaries are certainly there, oh my lord. Probably should grab that key. Yeah, another boss is going to give us a lot of money here. Not as much as I would have thought, actually. Still a good amount, though. Got a reverse emperor here, too. Good in there. Do a reverse emperor real quick. Oh, 
so many coins. We've not even killed them yet, and we got so many coins. I guess I could get a bunch of boss items for stats, maybe. It's not a bad idea. I'll, I'll, I'll spawn a few boss items for stats. How is this guy not dead yet? He's surviving a lot. That's good. We like that. Right, we'll do one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, eh, we'll do five, six. Yeah, there you go. I just wanted some more damage. Oh, dude. 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 Um, Shall we do it? Why not? Gamba. <laughs> I don't know how much it can actually spend. Okay, cool. It can't spend all your money. We did get three damage ups out of it, though. Shot speed, obviously, and range don't matter at all, so we don't even need to use those. Right. Let's go. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh, we got a, a, a D... Oh, there you go. That's what I was saying about getting a D6. Okay. So now I'm waiting for a devil room or a secret room pool, I think, here. Let's go secret room pool, I guess. Golden bomb there. Craziness going on. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I... Is that Greed's gullet? Oh, shit, yes. Wait, what? Oh, there you go. I was like, where's my HP? There it is. <laughs> Not that we're going to keep it, all this HP, but... Sausage. Thank you. Raw level we don't care about. Crimson stick. Oh, my lord. Crimson stick. Uh, Mongo cells. Uh, yes. What the hell's that? Oh, let me spawn with 80% HP. Oh my god. And D6 them all. Right, what we got now? Take the butterfly. We'll take the karma level. I don't know what the hell this dice is. Eternal D1. From Battle Fantasy. Spawn a loop card. Well then. That was interesting. And we know now we can get a lot of health pretty quick. Well. This run got pretty crazy. I mean, it was already pretty crazy. It got crazier. Spider unboxing is, is not, not helping with my sanity here. Probably should have come into here with more money, really, shouldn't I? Damn it. Right, let's go back, and we we have golden bombs, which is interesting. Ooh, golden bombs plus these crimson bombs plus mirror bombs is an interesting concept right now. So far, I guess I have not opened any red rooms. There you go, we have one. Okay, that's off the border of the map. Thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, hello. Not a red room we can go into either. Not a lot of red rooms we can get into right now. But I'm going to milk this golden bomb to find our ultra secret room, of course. Bomb, how'd you end up there? Bomb! Stop getting moved. Oh, man. There you go. Oh, dude. Why are the shots circling me? Move things. Oh, my God. It's the worst. Right. That's not going to be red room. I, I just... This, this just turned into such chaos so, 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 so quickly. Oh, man. Okay, nice. Nothing much here. 
into the red room here. Oh, stop it. Stop pushing my bombs. I could just, like, infinitely open up all the rooms here. The mini boss. More money. <laughs> More money's beautiful. Dude, what is that scythe? Is that scythe going to stay there forever? Am I going to have to deal with this bright, unbelievably bright, in fact? The player has a 50% chance of receiving a fading nickel when the room is cleared. Getting damage caused the player to lose half their money. Yeah, that's not happening. I ain't taking that. I'm sorry. Oops, sorry. I just bashed my microphone there. I'm just placing bombs everywhere and, like, opening up everything. Bombs, man. There it is. I knew we'd get there eventually. We literally had to. We have infinite bombs. Ooh. A good item as well. Leading. I can't see myself. It's so hard to pick up the money. Right, now now we'll just like make a make a break for it and go for the error room. Error room should be out this way somewhere. Oh my lord, what the hell just happened? There's apparently still an enemy in here. How? My god. It's just, how can anyone possibly keep an eye on what the hell is going on right now? Mutant spider, why, why not add that to the to the mix? Bit of able. Feel a bit scam paying for able, but... Let's go! <laughs> Dude, how far away is this error room going to be? Plus 12 bombs. I like it. Okay. Finally got the error room. And that error room had a bunch of money in it. Cancels the AI. Interesting. Oh, dude, we got another one of these? Are you kidding me? It was as if it wasn't crazy enough before. We got Jupiter. Jupiter is terrible. God damn it. Okay. Uh, down to the next floor, I guess. We got another one of these D dice things. My god. Right, one second. Let's keep this moving and grooving. I'm going to take a pause at about 15 minutes to go and do something there. But I... This run will not die. We will be back. This run will not die. Yeah, I guess the craziness is, like... I, I could... Th this, this run could literally go on forever. Because I could use my bombs to just keep bombing through walls and bombing through walls and bombing through walls. But it would just never end if we did that. <laughs> as much as the never-ending run sounds fun, it would be chaotic. I am very intrigued to see what we get on a full run reroll, though. Whenever that comes about. I'm sure we'll do it. At this point, I'm just spawning items as and when. Seeing what we get. And then if I come across a secret room... I'm not going to go out my way to find a secret room. If we come across our secret room, then yeah, I'll play around with it. I need a mapping item so I can bomb the ultra secret room more readily. I wish there possibly still things alive. We just keep going and going and going. Item room? Anywhere? I'm not quite sure what item room is. There's, there's, there's like money in every room. Money, money everywhere and not a drop to drink. I want to get myself back up to like insane health again. Deep pockets plus greed gullet. Something I didn't even think about. Peach creep. Oh, it's, dude, these god mode rooms are so stupid. <laughs> 
I need to like get in contact with the developer of God Mode, but I actually have no idea who it is. <laughs> because that needs sorting out. They're so broken. <laughs> Here's all these rooms with just a ton of extra items. I think it's meant... I, it might be like, intentional. It might be because like God Mode is meant to be harder. But obviously, I'm not playing it with the difficulty stuff enabled. So really, those rooms should be disabled if that's the case. Bit of justice. Don't think I need it, but thank you. I can't even get it. Justice. Give me that penny. Right. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's a lot of money. Uh, all of these fucking rift pits. Spam! Let's see what we get. Some damage. Some fire rate. Some planetarium chance that we no longer need. Thank you. I said the shot speed is literally useless, so that's kind of the only thing. Ooh, we got one of the new floors as well here. That's interesting. Fettered Heart is interesting. We can go and play around with that, potentially. I've not been using my bargaining chip recently, but I feel like we're kind of past that. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> As I said, there's money everywhere, but I can't goddamn see any of it. I never know where the money is. We do have a dice room there, but I think we're okay for that, thank you. Secret room's here. It's not. I don't know why I thought it was, but I tried to add an inkling. Pop an item down there. Ooh, bird's eye. Yes, please. Ooh, got the jet fellas. Nice. By the way, this room's name is just copy, 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 copy. Oh my god, the voids. They keep sucking up all the money. Okay, the, there was apparently a boss in this room at one point. That boss did not drop any money, though, which I'm slightly perturbed by. Um, Succubus Horn. Chance to shoot Charm Tears. Charmed enemies take damage from all sources. That's pretty cool. Damn it, please. You know I gotta do it, baby. You know I gotta do it. Considering we're in a situation where it's actually pretty hard for us to take damage, Damocles ain't, bad, ain't a bad shout at all. Like, our first hit every room is blocked. But Damocles ain't half bad. Oh, dude. I popped Soul of Azazel on, like, the worst fucking room. What is going on with this beam right now? It's hard to tell when it's even stopped with so many mega beams just continuously going off. d apparently. I I'm very curious to see if, if I spawn... Ah, oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. I activated Damocles. I didn't see that. I didn't realize I'd already been hit. Can this game chill out for a minute and let me pass? Damn. I didn't mean to activate Damocles. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know if uh, when I spawn an item, if Damocles is going to double it. I don't know how it's going to work. I think most rooms, what we've got to do is to collect the money. Is walk out, then walk back in for everything to just chill out a little bit. Not like completely. Nothing is ever chill completely, but chill enough. Again, I don't know where I am. What's going on right now? Whoa, there's some cool shit happening right now. Stop moving the money away from me. Right, quickly get out of this room. Pop this and see if it gives us two items. It did give us two items. Okay, Damocles with this is pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff. Right, up we go. We might still live through this run. We might still live through this run. We'll see. Obviously, there is a lot more min-maxing I could have done on this run. But as I said, we would have been here forever. And honestly, how much stronger do you want this run to get, realistically? Like, look at this. Look at what we have unfolded. Maybe we can, like, bomb our way in this room to the boss. No. Maybe here? 
Ah, dude, red rooms, where art thou? Ooh, another one of these guys. Hello. Knockout drops, yes please. Just, I love the massive beams that these things create. That's the wildest thing about them. Oh god damn, the game crashed. It was bound to happen. One second. Okay, we are back. Let's spawn an item, see what we get. We get her stat, which is probably pretty, pretty good. And science infection, also really good. Somehow missed it. I walked right past it, even though it was in front of the door. Grab the item, there you go. Even just regular enemies now are just giving us so much money. Okay, I'm not even sure how to get to the boss room here. We went right before. I guess it's up and then right or something. I just shouldn't fire in a lot of these rooms. It gets... It's too much to pay attention to. Flat odd mushroom. Sprinkler we don't really need. Thank you. more errors. <laughs> we are just an error producing machine right now. Devs hate this one weird trick. Oh my god. The size of that thing. The absolute sheer size of it. Oh, This is a money room, this. No, Larry doesn't give you anywhere near as much money as I thought he would. Am I missing this coin? Yeah, there you go. Keep missing it. And we got... Ooh, lost contact could be pretty useful for us here. I imagine. Let me out. I just never know when a room's actually over. Is, is my problem right now. Very hard to tell. Hey. The Kaka magician boy. Bunch of money there that I missed out on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get the money. I instantly spend it. Blood puppy. Why the hell not add him to the crew? Why the hell not? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got some like infinitely producing money over here. There's a lot of coins. Again, walk out, walk back in because... I can't see anything in here. There's probably a lot of money on the floor that I'm missing out on. Secret room, let's produce some items in here. Or at least... Ooh, different backdrop. Some food item. Lost mirror. Fortunately, not the item I was hoping that was. Can I escape, please? Can I go now? <laughs> Let me drift sweetly into that good night, please. Holy... My goodness. The problem now is how do I even thumbnail this? How? How do I possibly even thumbnail this? It's just insanity. Oh, now that's an item that I kind of regret picking up there. That's going to be laggy, I bet. A lot of extra fire. Again, how isn't he dead? Where are you to be surviving all of this? Where did all these coins come from? We got analog stick. There's Isaac's heart in there if we wanted it. Don't think we do want Isaac's heart. We got conjoined. Yeah, sure. Add that to the mix. Why not? I'm trying to get the coins, but it's just like, <laughs> just all over the goddamn place. It's impossible. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of bombs. Where did all they come from? Parasitoid. Pretty fun. We got the recluse has been unlocked. I'm guessing that's a character from God Mode. I would imagine. 
Yeah, some, on occasion, just a ton of bombs spawn. I'm not entirely sure as to where from. I love the fact that all of them have their own little battle, uh, battle standard thing, though. Oh, 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 money, 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 money. We got a red mirror. Transfer. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. What, we need that right now. I do want Randy the Snail, though. Ah, I missed Randy the Snail. Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm trying to be quick here because I know that it looms heavily above our head. I know that Damocles is there, waiting, watching, ready to pounce. There's just so many colors, so many tears, so many things happening that no human could possibly comprehend. There's a dime over there that I'm trying to get that I keep missing. Where's the dime gone? I saw a dime, I swear it. Just give me the goddamn coins! Fuck you! Right. What? Like, there's just... The there's tears producing, tears producing, tears producing, tears right now. Like, how am I meant to? Like, I walk into a room and it just... It all starts. It all begins. I don't touch anything. This is yet another, uh... Yet another silly room, isn't it? Oh, shit. We just activated D20. Actually, the hell. I mean, I'd, I'd have preferred the money game. Oh, man, this is... Something. What the fuck do I even say? How... Nah, Damocles got us. But, baby... We got an extra life. I forgot that we had a one up. I didn't need to worry about that at all. I completely forgot we had that. Only noticed when I actually died. Right. Go into a room that's relatively clean. What's the deal with the bombs, man? Why why does it why does just a thousand bombs jump out of everything? Give some Scara, lovely. You got some stats, baby. Oh my god, we got Succubus as well there. Awesome. Just, just slowly try to make your way into the next room. Slowly try. Oh my god. How is there anything alive in this room? Tell me, game, how? Possibly how, right. I'm just going to quickly do that. Just to make sure it remembers our progress, because otherwise, if, if I crash here, I'd be very sad. Right, the boss. Can we get into the boss room? Ooh! New final boss from the God Mode mod. What a brilliant showcase of a new final boss. Don't you like it? Don't you like the way the way it looks? Don't you like the way that, that, that you can see the new boss and all of its attack patterns? Isn't this a just joyous showcase of the new boss, guys? <laughs> oh man, this is silly. What is happening? This, this, this is like, this is like fucking millennial, not millennial, um, Gen Z brain rot fucking content right now. My god, it's so bad. Or Gen X is it? Whichever generation watches that shit. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was insane, and I'll see you guys in the next one.